this is an exponential factorial equation. The exponent and the factorial is in one term. As you can see, 3 power of 2 power of x factorial and 2 power of 3 power of x factorial. We must prove that, I mean, we must find the solution of this equation. The left hand side is 3 power of 2 power of x factorial, the right hand side is 2 power of 3 power of x factorial plus 1. So let us start to find the solution of this equation. I will first try, let us, let us try to plug in some values and see what we get. We start from the smallest positive integer that is x equals 1. When x is 1, on the left hand side we have 3 power of 2 power of 1 factorial, that is 1. It is equal to 9. And the right hand side we have 2 power of, power of, uh, 3 power of 1 factorial, and then plus 1, we get also a 9 here. So, we immediately found that x equals 1 is a solution. x equals 1 is a solution. Okay, so let us continue to the next value, that is x equals 2. When x is 2, the left hand side is 3 power of 2 power of 2 factorial is 2. This is 3 power of 4, and that is 81. Now, 2 power of 3 power of 2 factorial is 2, and then plus 1, we have 2 power of 9 plus 1. Let us compare these two numbers. Now, 2 power of 9, the 2 power of 9 is bigger than 2 power of 5 times 2 power of uh, 2, that is 2 power of 7, right? And this 2 power of 5 is 32 times 4. Now this is equals equals uh, 128. So clearly that 2 power of 9 is bigger than 81. So clearly x equals 1 is not a solution. This is uh, because of course, 3 power of 2 power of 2 factorial is, this is uh, less than, less than, let me write it again. This is less than 2 power of 3 power of 2 factorial plus 1, the right hand side. Okay, so it's impossible to try one by one. Uh, until we find all the solution because there are infinitely many positive integers so we cannot find the solution that way now this is exponential if we view each each side as a function then it is clear that each of this function is is an increasing function and they increase exponentially right and we already found one inter intersection point that is when x equals one so we might suspect that for x bigger than one there is no other solution let us let us let us uh, claim that now claim that for for x this is a claim for for x bigger than 1, we cannot have the left hand side equal to, to the right hand side. Now since we have we have also seen that when the case x equals 2, the left hand side is less than the right hand side, let us claim that the left hand side in general when x is bigger than 1 is, is less than the, the right hand side. Now notice that to prove this, what, what makes it difficult is this plus 1 right here. So instead of proving this, maybe we can, we can prove that. Instead we prove, prove 
3 power of 2 power of x factorial is less than 2 power of 3 power of x factorial without the plus 1. And this will be much more easier. This is for x greater than 1. Now let us start from the base case. That is x equals 2. We will prove this by induction, by the way. Base case x equals 2. We have 3 power of 2 power of 2 equals 3 power of 4. And the right hand side is 2 power of 3 power of 2 or 2 power of 9. Again, this is bigger than 128. And this is uh, 81. So it is clear that the base case is true. So it is clear that 3 power of 2 power of 2 is less than 2 power of 3 power of 2. Right? Now let us assume that this inequality is true and let us prove that let us prove that the case x plus 1 is also true. That is 3 power of 2 power of x plus 1 factorial is less than 2 power of 3 power of x plus 1 factorial. Let us prove this. Using the base case we have using the base case we have that 3 power of 2 power of x factorial is less than 2 power of 3 power of x factorial. Now I want to make the left hand side has power of x plus 1 factorial. So how can I do that? I will just take the power by this should be another 2 power of x times x factorial. The right hand side also we have 2, we have this, and then the same power we have x, 2 power of x times x factorial. Let us see first uh, this one, left hand side, this is becomes 3 power of 2 power of x plus 1 factorial. Now the right hand side here is, it is less than we can change the number 2 by 3. We have here and then power of 3 power of x times x factorial, right? Because, because 2 is less than 3, so we just change it to 3. And this is equals to 2 power of 3 power of x plus 1 factorial. So we have proved that this one right here is less than this one right here. So that is what we want to prove. So by induction, we have proved that, that this inequality is true. This is true. And this means that for x bigger than 1, uh, these two terms, left, and right are not equal. So there is no solution, there is no other positive integer solution to this equation except as x equals 1. This is the only solution to this equation. So that is the first solution. I have another solution here. Let me erase all of this. This is the first solution by induction. And now let us try the second solution. The second solution uses number theory, uh, basic number theory. This is second solution. Let us assume that we already know that x equals 1 is a solution, right? We already know that x equals 1 is a solution. Okay. Now assume Assume there is another solution other than x equals 1. Assume there is another solution x bigger than or equal to 2. Now, if x is bigger than or equal to 2, then 
x factorial must be even. x factorial is even. Now let us analyze the 3 power of x factorial. 3 power of x factorial will be 3 power of something, right? And this number 3 is must be of the form, let me write it again here, must be of the form uh, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 something. Uh, something uh, some some many times here even number of times and we can group the threes we can group by two threes here two threes and three times three is nine and nine nine is congruent to one modulo 4. It has remainder 1 when divided by 4. And so we have here, this is congruent to 1. Each of these uh, group of two threes is congruent to 1 modulo 4. So we get that all of this is also congruent to 1 modulo 4. So 3 power of x factorial has remainder 1 when divided by 4. This is a bad handwriting. Okay, so And then let us now analyze the 2 power of 3 power of x factorial. Now 2 power of 3 power of x factorial is equal to 2 power of something, right? This is, so let us analyze power of 2 here. Power of 2, 2 power of 1 here, and then 2 power of 2 is 4. 2 power of 3 is 8. 2 power of 4 is 16. 2 power of 5 is 32. 2 power of 6 64 and so on. Let us let us focus on the last digit. Here, the last digit is 2, and then we get last digit equals 2 again when 2 power of 5, and we will get it again when 2 power of 9 has last digit equals 2. So every four terms of the sequence we get the last digit equals 2. And So the possibilities of 3 power of x factorial, since it, it is 1 modulo 4, congruent to 1 modulo 4, then which means that the remainder is 1 when divided by 4, then the possibilities is it is equal to 1 or 5 or 9 or 13 and so on. That is with a gap of 4. You can see here, this is 2 power of 1 here, 2 power of 1. This is 2 power of 5, 2 power of 9. Those are the same possibilities of this 3 power of x factorial. So we know for sure that 2, 2 power of 3 power of power of x factorial has last digit equals 2. This is important information. To solve this problem. Okay, this is, well, this is not the right hand side. We, we must add 1 to make it the right hand side. So, 2 power of 3 power of x factorial plus 1 has last digit 3. Now, this is the, this is the right hand side. So again, here, let us analyze the power of 3. 3 power of 2 power of x factorial is power of, power of 3, right? 3 times 3 times 3 and so on. Now, now, 
uh, let us analyze power of 3, 3 power of 1, and then 3 squared is 9, and then 3 cubed is 27, and then 3 power of 4 is 81, 3 power of 5 is, is has last digit equals 3, and so on, right? So, powers powers of 3 has last digit equals 3 when when the power is 1 and then 5 and then 9 here 3 power of 9 and so on so every every uh, four terms right every four terms it has last digit equals 3 but we have 2 power of x factorial is even so this is even number of times. So it cannot be 1, 3, uh, I mean 5, 9, and so on. So it is clear that 3 power of 2 power of x factorial cannot have, have 3 as last digit. So this means that the left hand side, which is this, this is the left hand side, cannot be equal to the right hand side for x, for values of x bigger than 1. So this assumption is false. So x equals 1 is the only solution to this equation. <laughs>